everyone. In today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, probiotics and how you can make one at home with literally no extra cost. We'll be using ingredients that you usually just throw away. And it is not something that I have invented. It's nothing new. It is something that has been in our Indian tradition for over thousands of years. People have been drinking this probiotic to improve their gut health. What exactly is our gut health? We have trillions of microbes in our gut and the number actually is a lot more than the number of human cells that we have in our body. And this balance between the human cells and the microbes, the good bacteria in the gut, the balance of all of these is so important for our immune system to be strong and functioning properly. But the lifestyle that we have today, the environment we are living in and the kinds of food we are eating has really created a microbial imbalance in our body which is affecting our immune system, our ability to fight diseases. A number of things that affect this, the bacteria in our gut is uh, things like antibiotics which we are taking as medicines or we are consuming indirectly through foods and waters, especially animal foods because animals have been injected with antibiotics and if we eat that then they are going in our body as well. Another major factor is that we are eating a lot of inorganic food, food full of chemicals and uh, even processed food. All these things affect the bacteria in our gut. Even poor sleeping cycles, because these days we don't sleep and wake up with the sun cycle. We sleep late at night, we wake up late in the morning. All these things are affecting our health and of course the microbial imbalance. Another major thing is C-section births. In natural births, a child gets a lot of the microbes from its, uh, from its mother. But in case of a C-section, even that is lost. Few more things to list could be alcohol consumption and also the use of anti-germ toothpaste. Any antibacterial things that we are using, they not only kill the harmful or the bad bacteria on our bodies or inside the body, but they also affect the good bacteria that we need. So how can we fix this? For a good gut, we need prebiotics as well as probiotics. Prebiotics are very easily available in all raw foods. As long as you don't cook food, your prebiotics are present in it. So eat a lot of fresh fruits, salads, fruit juices, vegetable juices, and they will provide all the prebiotics that are contains. The next is probiotic, and probiotics are there in all kinds of fermented foods. There are a number of fermented foods that are available and you can eat. You can make them at home or you can buy them from outside. But today I'm going to talk about a probiotic which is made from millet starch or rice starch water and you can just make it at home from things that you usually throw away. First you need to take the millet or rice, whatever you want to eat for your next meal and uh, just rinse it once with water. We don't want to overwash it because we want to keep the maximum nutrients and starch that are present in, in the grain itself. So just wash it once nicely with water and soak it with 6 to 8 times of water. So if you were taking around um, 1 cup of rice or millet then take uh, 6 to 8 cups of water and soak it in that. Once you've soaked it enough, do not throw away this water, we want to keep this water. So we'll be boiling the millet or the rice in that soaking water. Now uh, cover it and boil it in an open pot, not in a pressure cooker. And also please avoid uh, aluminium or non-stick cookware. Stainless steel or earthen pots are the best option for this. Now once boiled, you can separate the rice or the millet with the starch water and store this water. This water currently is uh, boiling hot, so let it cool down a bit. Once it comes down to lukewarm temperature, we don't want to ferment the starch water in a steel container, but we will move it to again either an earthen pot, stone pot, glass or ceramic. And at this lukewarm temperature, we will add a starter. For starters, we can use either uh, chili grounds, which is just the head of the chili, or uh, methi seeds or the fenugreek seeds. When we add the starter at this time, we can actually add any other vegetable of your choice just to enhance the flavor. It is not necessary. You can just have it plain, just the starch water and add the starters and let it ferment. Or you can add a few vegetables and even uh, spices like jeera powder just to give it a bit more flavor. So today I'm going to be adding a few uh, green chilies, coriander, fresh coriander leaves and some radish. At this point, we do not add any salt because if we add salt to this, Water, it uh, just slows down the fermentation process. You can add it, but it will just take a little longer. So it's better to add it once it actually gets fermented. 
once you've added the starter and the vegetables of your choice we just need to let it sit for maybe 8 to 16 hours again this time will depend on the weather and uh, keep it in a dark place which is slightly warm not very hot and uh, not very cold like sometimes in summers your uh, kitchen might actually get really hot and uh, ac conditioned rooms are a little too cold so find uh, in between temperature and keep it in a room which is not too extremely hot or too cold and just let it ferment. Once it's ready, you will notice uh, a few air bubbles and um, it will uh, smell and taste a bit sour. So that's when you know it's uh, ready. And at this point, add some salt in it and leave it for one hour. After the one hour, the drink is ready to consume. You can have it just before a meal. Ideally, you should have it on empty stomach. So avoid to uh, drink this after a meal. Just before a meal is the best time to have it. You can also save just about one spoon of this liquid now to use as a starter for your next batch of probiotics. So if you had this for uh, in the morning today and this afternoon you're going to be boiling your millet or rice again for the next meal. In that starch water instead of the chili grounds or uh, the methi seeds we used earlier, you can uh, use just one spoon of this liquid and this is going to act like a starter and your uh, fermentation process will actually happen a little faster if you use this as a starter. It will be more effective. I hope you're going to try this and include this in your diet every day. We must have a probiotic every day to have a good bacterial balance in our body. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more tips or healthy recipes, follow me on Instagram and do subscribe to my YouTube channel.